When I came down to this facility shortly after being elected, I felt strongly that we were underutilizing not only the uh, skilled workforce here, but also uh, the facility itself. And uh, I'll never forget walking into the furnace room. They heat this place by wood. And uh, the guy who was uh, stoking this, the fire was an inmate who I'd known for years. I didn't know he was here, but he used to work for me for my construction company. Incredibly skilled uh, construction worker when he was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. And it occurred to me as I left that since we know that many of the people who are in this facility uh, are here on drug and alcohol related nonviolent charges, uh, that we had a workforce that we could put to work for Vermont and for good causes. And I think that this example of taking potatoes, people, and prisoners and putting them together to get food to people that need it is the kind of innovation that we should be working for and towards and exactly why I'm so proud of Commissioner Polito and the corrections team for making this happen. What's the goal? Listen, we're spending huge money to lock these folks up. Vermont taxpayers are spending a lot of dough twice as much as we spend, right? We're spending more on corrections now than we are on higher education for Vermont's kids. The question is how do we pay back some of that resource to the taxpayers that are paying for their incarceration? And this is one way to do it. Take surplus foods through the vision uh, of Teresa and many others, uh, put it to work, get it to people that are hungry, who are all over Vermont, and give these folks a sense of purpose and a sense of getting things done uh, for Vermonters.